There are many factors that need to be considered to maximize the chances of success with assisted reproduction treatment. Although a chromosomally normal and morphologically good quality embryo is the best starting point, the embryo also needs to be transferred to the uterus under optimal conditions. Therefore, it's important to consider the status of the endometrium. For many years, iGenomics has led extensive research to better understand the endometrial factor in patients with recurrent implantation failure. Several scientific publications have demonstrated the importance of the microbiome in the reproductive tract and its direct influence on human reproduction. Any imbalance in the endometrial flora may increase the chances of implantation failure or cause problems during pregnancy. The EMMA test, developed by Agenomics, performs a comprehensive analysis of the endometrial microbiome with the aim of improving reproductive prognosis for women. The test uses next-generation sequencing and a small endometrial biopsy sample to provide an overall view of its bacterial composition, providing the status of the endometrial microbiome. The results are either normal, with a high percentage of lactobacilli, or abnormal, with a significant presence of dysbiotic and or pathogenic bacteria. Following an abnormal result, the EMMA report recommends personalized treatment, guided by a microbiologist, to restore the balance of the endometrial flora. The EMMA test also includes ALICE, a test that detects the eight pathogenic bacteria most commonly causing chronic endometritis. Up to 30% of infertile women suffer from this asymptomatic disorder, a figure that can reach 66% in women with recurrent implantation failure. If pathogenic bacteria are detected, the ALICE report recommends appropriate treatment. A microbiologically healthy endometrium increases the chances of success with assisted reproduction. Not all women are the same, but for every woman, the endometrium matters.